Hello everybody, Sift here again with another bio pro life run. And today there has been a huge patch. We're gonna play with Chloride Essence. Cochlea activates additional times equal to the amount of cochlea's linked and effective organ uh, have less duration. Let's go into this. And here are the big changes. They changed what the difficulties do. So um, level two difficulty gives you more dangerous creatures. Level three makes bosses and elites enraged, gaining stackable movement speed every 10 seconds they stay alive. So this is so that you don't loop them around forever. Nice change. Then the randomization of organs is at stage four. And then also at stage 5, they added the mind overload. So from here on out, I will always be playing at stage 4. But, but, because I got a golden opportunity handed to me right now with the organs right side compatibility because randomized, let's actually play at difficulty 3 that I was used to be playing. So I got another one of those where I can connect everything with everything now that I have you know the knowledge now uh, i'm not sure how much more i will play this game there is a good chance that from tomorrow i'm gonna start playing some new games because um, honestly i i think we broke the game enough and uh, i i guess we have seen most of the things i guess i could rotate back into this game once every while and here we found cochlea that is going to be the limb activate the right side organ while effects of the left side organ expire i want to get as many of these as possible as and i would like to combine them with tentacle or starfish or in general the things of that nature things that shoot out two three four five projectiles and then all of those projectiles expire because the expire effect happens always if they hit something or if they miss it will expire at some point so this is very 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 good from the cochlea let's also go with tentacle of the coral projectile on three let's take that so right now the idea is um what can the cochlea connect to tentacles and limbs so right now the only thing i can say is when the poison expires either because they die or because it expires itself opponents shoot out projectiles right i will change these all up in a moment when i find some more things but for now we're gonna say whoever gets poisoned after you know the duration of the poison expires or or when the host itself dies right yeah or even if the if the host itself dies the effect still activates that's why cochleas are busted and uh, this character is going to be even more busted because of the fact that uh, he says that for each cochlea connected to this cochlea network we're gonna be um, they are gonna activate even more times right so when the exp when the effect expires the next thing is gonna trigger two times three times and when that thing expires the next one is gonna activate even more times you know it's just a chain reaction of chain reactions i could go for the pupa or i could go for the chimpanzee here um i i guess i should go for the pupa because this is once again a projectile that's gonna be flying out although this is just one projectile so it doesn't even propagate anything into anything i guess we're gonna get the chimpanzee then on the boxer let's get the boxer and let's see if we can now get the connection going so i'm gonna say every one point something seconds oh this oh, first of all let's give me back what i had we're gonna be shooting out the machine gun effect and when this thing hits it shoots out uh, a poison you know it poisons opponents and when the opponents when the poison expires then it shoots out starfish i would say not really a crazy build here that we have going on uh this this intestine is going to be very relevant let's see how this is going to work so we shoot out three things and when they hit they poison and then the moment the poison expires uh, it's going to shoot out starfish you know what i should just say when those expire should they shoot out starfish uh right now yeah i think i made the build definitely worse yeah yeah yeah. i definitely 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 made the build worse here should keep that in mind but it's okay it's not really the end of the world yeah we are a bit weaker we are a bit weaker it is what it is i need to connect the cochlea effect instantly with the machine gun effect i don't need a middleman i want when every single one of those three shots expires it's gonna shoot out a starfish i don't need when the unit that's poisoned expires it shoots out the starfish it's not the end of the world once again but it was worse let's go with the hornet here for sure we found a jackal so we shoot a bit faster i think shooting fast is important with this build on our hornet i would like to find some cochlea but a project i'm on three on the hornet so that's definitely yes so here we're gonna say you attack a lot faster and when you hit you shoot out a hornet projectile i'm on three right and then when that expires it shoots out I guess we could say another hornet, but uh, not starfish is better. Can I see this now in testing? This should be a lot better. Yep, that's 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 definitely a lot better. Now we got some machine gun effects going on. So those trigger those, and the others trigger the others, etc., etc. Let's go with organ quality. Uh, I don't think I will need the poison or the slimy anymore, so let's sell this and this. Might be a wrong decision, but I don't think so. And I would even go as far to say to throw away the, the spine here. The tentacle definitely stays just to get in our organ quality. Let's throw this away. We can find better. So let's go with organ quality and let's run it. But theoretically, when these things hit anything... Although, why would I make them on hit? Those should definitely... The first one should definitely be on expire. So that I'm guaranteed sure that they're gonna machine gun. You know, we just need to find more cochlea. I need to find one more cochlea, to be honest. Like, one more. I don't need a million more. Because the moment I get one more, 
it's gonna be on expire trigger twice because for each connected cochlea we need to remember that always for each connected cochlea all the cochleas activate an additional time so the moment i connect two or even three manis shall ensure ensue ensure ensue i'm not sure i guess ensue and uh by the way they changed also what enemies were fighting at wave two so now we're at wave three level three so now we actually have the doggos fight which i really enjoy i do enjoy seeing different opponents um <laughs> now that we they change the difficulties around I don't know why that would make sense, but whatever. Lip of Skeleton. Uh, we found a Tentacle of Coral, which has Chain and Project Lamont, so we're gonna, definitely going to take that. Can I find some Cochlears? I find the Jackal, we're going to take that. Let's go with Mutations. Um, I'm going to say, let's uh, let's make this. This is the non-bouncing one. So we're going to say, when this expires, shoot out bouncing ones. And then, then when those ones hit, shoot out Starfish. Right, uh, I could actually say throw out something else. Ah, you know what? We have two more rooms, so we're gonna say while these are midair for 0 0.5 seconds. Yeah, that's that's straight up not gonna happen. The wilder midair part. I guess we could say on hit through a slash. Now we're good with the starfish. Let's continue with going with organ quality. Uh, would I like to throw away the jackal? I don't think so. Is it faster than this one? 0 0.73. No, it's not. So uh, let's go. Can I see this for a moment in testing? Yeah, this is so much better. This is so much better. Let's go. Because now we have a guaranteed trigger, and they always will shoot out. Yeah, this is just a lot better. Although, we of course need to get the starfish. And not the starfish, we need to get one more cochlea. I need to get one more cochlea, so that this thing here makes sense. Just one, found it, found it! And just like that, we are now completely and utterly busted. Completely busted, I'm telling you. You will not see the difference that is incoming is not conceivable, <laughs> in my opinion. Look how awesome this looks, by the way. We're already shooting like a million things out. So um, it's inconceivable how much more powerful we're gonna become. Uh, please stay away from me. We're gonna make it so that on expire, it shoots out more things that on expire shoot out more things. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, this is crazy. This is crazy. Sift be like, Sift, bro, but Sift, we're not seeing the madness. What are you talking about? Here it is. I, I'm seeing the future. I can already sense the madness that's incoming. Okay, we've got two cochleas. Woo! Three cochleas. Woo! <laughs> Raptor Rich and Pansy. I don't want these reroll. Give me some damage related things. I guess I could do it with Fire Lizard, but honestly, I don't want to. Mammoth? Nah, that's money. Let's roll again. Blood Crawl. Oh, come on, man. I guess we're going to take a Blood Crawl. Mammoth and explosions, not really reroll this. Can I please get some kind of projectile? Mushroom would be good, but no. I guess a fire lizard, no. I'm rerolling so much here. A boxer? I guess I'm gonna take a boxer. I don't know, man. Anyway, when this expires, shoots out machine gun effect. When this expires, shoots out um, this thing, I guess. A projectile mount 3. Projectile mount 1, yeah. Projectile mount 3. And then when this expires, it shoots out a starfish. Or boomerangs for that matter, but I don't think it really matters. We're completely busted now. Look at this. Yep. 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 It's happening all right. It's happening all right. Let's go. It's kind of instantly. Look at this. Because it's on expire, on expire, on expire. It doesn't matter if it hits an opponent or not. It just does it. It just does the chain reaction. And please remember that each cochlea activates more time for each cochlea connected. So we shoot out three projectiles. And when those expires, when those first three projectiles expire, they three times shoot out three more projectiles each, right? Each one of those three projectiles, they three times each throw out another three projectiles, right? And when those secondary three projectiles each from each from each expire, they shoot out three more times each three more times, even more projectiles, and then at the end of all that, the starfish fires. So, um, yeah, this is madness. Of course, I could make the starfish be a boomerang if I wanted to. I don't need to specifically have starfish being what we shoot out, but this is by far the most busted build with a huge difference between everything else. Like, there is not even a comparison on how powerful this is. Maybe at the end of this, I shouldn't actually shoot out starfish. Maybe I shoot out something like a slash or a hammer slammer. We can test it out. We can test it out. And guess what? This is my one brain, right? I'm using only one brain right now. I haven't used a single secondary brain. I haven't used anything... Uh, which I can create the second brain with similar effects, right? Like, the, the, the PC is not gonna handle this. My editor was telling me that if you want the PC to not lag, you need to get a better... <laughs> um, 
CPU, I guess. Because too many projectiles. <laughs> Love it. And Narcoclea, we take that without even thinking about it. Uh, found the boxer, not really that useful. I guess we're gonna reroll here. And Narcoclea, take it without even thinking about it. It's Hammer Slammer. You know what, let's take a Hammer Slammer. I wanna see this in action. So if I put a Hammer Slammer here, can I see this? Yeah, this is so much more powerful. Can I see the Slash version? I think the Hammer Slammers are more fun. I think the Hammer Slammers are more fun. And now I'm gonna buy a second brain because I'm stupid. But say, so doesn't buying a second brain actually mean you are smarter? Nope. Not when you're doing the stupid things I'm doing. Uh, this is a cell. I'm not gonna use connection with poison bags and whatnot. We're gonna say, shoot out, shoot out one of these. And then when that thing expires, shoot out a boomerang. And when that thing expires, shoot out this thing. Can I see this in a moment? Okay, I'm ready to see some boomerangs fly out. Ah, we got some boomerangs flying out. Yep, that's that's actually true. What are these, the boomerangs doing at the end? Supposedly throwing out these things when they expire. I guess they, we can make them slash. Can I see the slashes? Because the slashes are easier to see. There's the boomerang. Yeah, and a slash at the very end. Yeah, of course we need another cochlea here. We need a... Oh, we already have another cochlea. Yeah, well, the boomerang's trash. <laughs> I, I mean, we're shooting out one projectile, which shoots out two boomerangs, because this activates twice, right? And then... And then that one slashes two or three times. Ah, whatever. Very weak-ish. Combo pieces. Does the blood crawl even fit? I guess it would fit with the boxer and whatnot. But honestly, I don't care about boxers. I do enjoy this whole idea with cochleas of cochleas of cochleas. So let's just sell this, sell this, and sell this. Let's buy in our brain and, uh, I mean, brain power or whatever. And let's continue. Yep, I see the boomerangs now. Yeah, they do actually shoot out starfish at the end of the day. Nice. You guys really think you got any chance against my hammer slammers of madness? Hammer slammers of madness! <laughs> this is crazy stupid. <laughs> this is crazy stupid and I love it. I love this character and I love this game in general with what they're doing, man. The combos, the combos. The combos. I really enjoy right now that I don't actually have access to lungs and wings because now we only find things that we want, which is, you know, specifically cochleas. I would like to, of course, get even more cochleas, blue version and um, the yellow version even better if possible. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. The only thing that matters is that we get a couple more projectiles so that I can chain react a couple more things into each other, right? Uh, we need all those attacks that say that they shoot out two and three at a time. We don't want boomerangs that just throw out one at a time. I want to get a starfish that can connect the right side because starfish is that one thing that shoots out five at a time. So starfish is definitely one of the better ones for this thing. Uh, but not with a right side missing, <laughs> like the starfish we have specifically in this build. <laughs> yeah, the Slammer Slammer Madness. This is so stupid. I can't even see where the XP is or if there are drops on the ground or whatnot. And now Cochlea we take... Oh, we found the worm. Ooh, this is one projectile, though. I don't care about this. Let's get the Cochlea. Dragon. I mean... Yeah, let's take Dragon flying around. <laughs> this is gonna become stupid. Okay, when these expire... And when these expire... And at the end of the day, this. Can I see this in action? Let's stay away from everything, please. Dragons should start appearing. Here they are. And then when they expire, they explode at the very end of it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely better than the boomerangs. At least, because the boomerang... No, the boomerangs is still part of the build. I guess it's better than... What did I have? Slashes? Yeah, I had slashes. It's better than slashes. Is it maybe better to do this? Pop these around. Can I see this for a moment? So now the dragons are closer to us. Yeah, and when they die, they shoot out boomerangs, and when the boomerangs expire, they shoot out projectiles. Yeah, I think that's much better. Let's go with drop rate, as we always do. And uh, let's run it. Yeah, now we have the dragons close to us. Nice! Just a bunch of things happening all over the place. That is our power. <laughs> that is our strength. And this uh, the, the version with the boomerangs and the dragons isn't even good. Once again, the power comes from having... I could put the dragons instead of the hammer slammers, by the way. I could have millions upon millions of dragons around us, but I do enjoy the hammer slammers. This it looks so much more awesome. 
Um, yeah, the power comes from more projectiles. We need starfish. I need starfish. If I find starfish, oh man, oh man. If I find two starfish, oh man, oh man. Imagine starfish that say when they expire, they shoot out starfish. It's gonna be a bunch of starfish flying out and then they're gonna be coming back and it's gonna become just straight up madness. That is the plan. Starfish into starfish. That's the play right now. That is the play if we find at least one. Which I guess that is the that is the hope or the RNG that we're gonna hope to get. Stay away from me, everything and everybody. Pop, 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 pop. Are the elites even gonna survive? That is my question. Are the elites even remotely able to survive what is incoming? I don't know. By the way, there is a very good chance that from tomorrow I'm gonna start playing a bunch of different games, like new games. I already started a new game, uh, Dungeon 100. I don't know, something is up with me sometimes. I'm just like, you know what? We drained that game dry. For example, by a prototype right now, I feel like we played enough. We did most of the things. I think this is going to now become one of those games where I come back once every blue moon, trying to see the new busted things they added and whatnot. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, we found a raven. Uh, I guess for money. Now nah, let's roll this. We found a coral though with chain three and chain two. Uh, if it had the right side, I'm gonna take it though for a shotgun effect. Explosions. I'm gonna also take that for an explosion effect. Let's roll these. Swordfish with. I mean, come on, man. Project Lemon three. This is good. This is good for a chain reaction effect going on. So let's go into this one. We're gonna say this is very weak. It shoots out one. Um, but I could say like, you know what? If that thing shoots out one, this can chain react into that. I don't really want boom ranks. I would like to have explosions here at the end. Can I see this in a moment? Let's see it for a moment. That thing shoots out a million. Yeah, and then the boom ranks just explode. You see all these explosions from the boom ranks? I do enjoy this. I do enjoy this. I need something better, of course, like starfish or something. But right now, I don't have anything to put here that might be better. That has a right side, that is. This, this is never going to get used again. Let's throw that away. Uh, I could instead of explosions, of course, put in these things. This is also never going to get used. And this is also never going to get used. So that's nice. 54. Let's go with a lot more organs. 44. I think we're good. I could say instead of boomerangs, I could say loop-de-loop. -loop. I would like to see this in a moment. Instead of boomerangs, just having a bunch of dragons and then da 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 explode da 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 Yeah, we can have a bunch of dragons all over here. Now let's go with boomerangs. I do enjoy the boomerangs in general. At the end of the day, the damage is going to be coming from this anyway, right? So there is no reason to go for the boomerangs. And uh, yeah, in general, I don't think that the dragon really fits with what we're going with. But let's keep it for now. Although if I sell it, 50 coins plus the starfish, I guess I would like to keep the starfish. This is a bit weirdish to keep. Uh, I, I did not want to do that swap. Instead of the explosions here. Yeah, this is weird to keep. I don't think we're going to use this even for the final one. Although this is decent. I'm between these two torn. This is definitely a throwaway. Let's throw this away for sure. Which of these two am I not going to get used? And use? Let's throw out the starfish. So I get more organ drop rate. That's the plan, right? We want to get all those organs to be getting. And now we got those boomerangs that fly around and explode on the way back. Which isn't really good. Once again, we want... Oh, another cochlea. Nice, 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 nice. We want some kind of projectile. Because the idea is... When the projectile... I mean, not boomerang. Boomerang is a projectile, yeah. But we want something that can expire before it hits anything. That's why we want all those machine gun effects. The idea is we throw a projectile on the opponent. If it hits an opponent, it explodes on the spot on the at the face of the opponent. If it doesn't hit the opponent, it explodes wherever it expires. And the bad thing with the boomerang is that it takes like one and a half seconds flying around, looping around, and then exploding. We want something that just targets an opponent, tries to go as close to them as possible, and just explodes on the spot. So we want some kind of machine gun effect that we can connect to the right of that. Hey, look, it's an elite. Hey, look, that was the elite. Hey, look, another elite over there. Where is it? <laughs> uh, will we be able to see elites even exist in this game? What a busted build, man. I always thought that lungs is the play. Lungs and dragons, lungs and loop-de-loops. But this, like, everything is busted. Everything is broken. Everything is completely and uh, utterly insane. Of course, you might say, but say, if you can connect everything with everything... Um, yeah, I mean, of course, <laughs> we wanted to abuse today the mechanic just to have more fun. But still, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, cochleas can only connect to limbs and uh, tentacles anyway. So the connectivity here isn't really an issue and wouldn't be an issue anyway. Although, uh, maybe, maybe some projectile attacks would not have cochlea. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Because as you see, with the with the quote-unquote connects with everything class we have going on, these only connect the tentacle limbs. So, uh, like, it would be 50-50 if it would be a tentacle or a limb. And, uh, oh no, come on, man. 
Nice, here we go. This this is definitely something one. I see the cochlea, but this is exactly what I want as a projectile. It shoots out three, doesn't bounce, so it's instantly gonna disappear, and then also connects to cochlea. That's exactly what I want. Bag of thorns for the money is what I'm seeing here. Uh, these are useless, let's roll it. Oh, no, cochlea, nice. So now we're gonna become a lot more powerful. Now we're gonna say this thing here, it doesn't shoot out one, it shoots out three, and then those shoot out three, and then those shoot out... Uh, something that expires faster, another boomerang, we shoot a projectile, and then those explode. I think here we're going to see a huge difference now. Yep, now we actually have the explosions going out a lot faster. I mean, even if I don't have opponents to attack, look at what's happening. We're attacking at the top. I mean, yeah, we're shooting at the top, then those are shooting at the top, then those are shooting at the top, and then they go at the very, very end and hammer slam and explode. So that, that, that is the build, that's literally the plan, that was the plan from the get-go. Uh, I think the very final version is the one that needs the, the powerful cochlea so it does more damage. So the, the deeper the good cochleas are connected, the, the better it is. Nice. I don't think we're going to use retinas. Like, this is on contribute to the guild. Useless. I'm not going to use this. Useless. I'm not going to use the poison. Like, what? <laughs> I would have played with poison. Uh, the rest can stay. Actually, intestine is also a goner. I have a thousand coins. These are done. Uh, let's actually not lose. So that means we're going to go with... Br uh, not bring capacity. Actually, bring I want two bring capacities for sure. Let's go bring capacity, bring capacity. And now we're gonna be like, ah, uh, over here we got some issues. I guess here we can go like, when this... I can't really connect anything. When that expires, shoot out a boomerang. When that expires, explode. Can I see this one a moment? It's gonna become now a million boomerangs. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We're not gonna crash, we're not gonna make the VC explode. I don't need this stupid thing. I guess over here, we can say when this expires, also machine gun effect. And then over here, we already have some cochlea that have a double connection, so we're gonna go here, and we're also gonna go here. So this should not really lag that much. Yeah, it is lagging, but not really that much. And of course, we want to connect even more cochlea into cochlea, but right now, this, for example, has to become another hornet. So I can connect the narrow cochlea and then chain it up because these things don't really end. For example, if this had a right side, I would put it here and then over there at the right and on one. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Let's run into this. So now, of course, we became a lot more powerful. Hey, look, it's wave 10. An elite is going to try to fight us. Try to fight us, as I said, because look at what we're shooting at everything. Hey, look, we found a jackal. Perfect. Now I can create another brain. <laughs> Literally why I want the jackals, just to create more brains. The boss should be spawning in a bit. What is this, man? This is by far the most busted. What is this, man? What is this? Look at this madness. It's just the, the machine gun gods are incoming. And everything is chaining and everything is targeting. I love the fact that everything is targeting in this game. I hate it when games like these bullet uh, heavens are just shooting wherever randomly and you have zero control of what's happening. Hey, look, it's the boss. Hey, look, that was the boss. Yeah, that literally was the boss. No joke. <laughs> The boss just got yeeted and deleted, and we, we aren't even at our final form yet. We haven't even connected cochleas into this whole mix that we just did. Right? So, uh, we, you haven't seen anything yet. We just need more, more corals, more machine gun effects, more anything that shoots out through projectiles. And I still have not found the starfish with a right connection. If I find starfish with a right connection, I think the game is gonna explode. I'm pretty sure about the game uh, exploding at that point. Continue moving in loops, continue destroying everything. <laughs> I like that I have like a mushroom in my hand. I don't know why I have a mushroom. Oh no, we lost life. How did that happen? I guess I flexed too much. Money, 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 money. I mean, it's a retina, so might as well leave it on the ground. It's gonna get sold on its own. 170 coins in things that we lost. Well, that's pretty sad. I didn't find a weapon. That's useful at least. We found a jackal. Let's take the jackal. Uh, these are useless. We roll them. Spinal jackal again. Not really. Let's roll him. One dragon, also not really. That's oh, I'm prudent. No, let's roll him. Find a hammer slammer, but it's pretty useless. E. Let's get the hammer slammer. Find another hammer slammer and an explosion. Let's get another hammer slammer and another explosion. Which I mean, I would say it's useless. We can add to nerves, so it attacks more often. Here we go, another cochlea. Although that's also pretty useless. We need to find something that can attack. Let's throw this away. Which right now we don't have. Right now we are missing. Is this an on crit? Oh, that's an on hit. Well, if it's on hit, might as well connect it with uh, hammer slammers. So uh, we can throw these out. Nice. And over here, I would say... I don't want boomerangs. We can go here with this. I can't really connect anything with the rest of the line. It is what it is. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with another brain. And then we're going to go with HP and movement speed. And uh, maybe even more effective radius. I don't think we need that. 
I guess crit chance and crit damage and base damage, etc. is good. Yeah, just go with stats. So, new brain. We're gonna go with another good old uh, jackal. Which, uh, that jackal's gonna be throwing out boomerangs. And when those boomerangs expire... Actually, I want this cochlea on my builds. Uh, I could say on expire here with boomerangs. It's gonna lag the PC. Let's go with the jackal here, boom. Cochlea, that is not a jackal. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna take these in. And then we're gonna say, you go over here. Boom. And... Boom, nice. So this last one is going to be throwing out a million projectiles and whatnot. This is going to definitely lag the PC. YOLO it. I uh, I don't think we need anything else here. I guess a better cochlea would fit. And let's continue with this. So when this expires, it shoots out a uh, hammer slammer, I guess. I guess shoots out the boomerang, which... Nah, let's go with the hammer slammer. Ah, these are... This is a very mediocre build one. Last one. I don't think I need this, so let's throw that away. We have jackals anyway. And this is definitely a no-no. And uh, do I have a worse jackal here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, here you go. This is also worse jackal. 0 0.83, 0 0.73 and overwhelmed attack speed. So, and this is a good one. So we're going to throw this away. And now we have 100 something. 100 something coins, pretty useless. I can't really do anything with them. Uh, yeah, just keep the coins and go. He's going to definitely lag my PC. Yep, lags my city. Da -na -na -na. Everything is lagging. Everything is lagging. We can't even see what's happening. We can't even see. Is my PC gonna explode? Who knows? I guess the idea is to run away from the projectile madness. <laughs> run away from the projectile madness. Pixels. We're gonna be playing with Pixels today. Hello, everybody. Sift here again. And today we're gonna be playing a lag spike fest because that is what we do in this channel. We always try to break the games to a point where they're literally unable to function. Very nice. I don't know how I always achieve that. I guess I know how I always achieve that. I just read the things and then decide that, oh, wait a minute, if I do that, it's going to break the game, and then boom, I break the game. Easy enough. And I still have not found Starfish, by the way. I still have not found Starfish. We just found an Hornet. I guess we could continue creating Hornet chain reactions. You know what? Maybe the ex maybe the explosions and the hammer slammer aren't a good idea. Let's maybe just go with projectiles into projectiles into projectiles into projectiles. Maybe I don't need hammer slammers. Maybe I don't need explosions. Maybe, 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 maybe. But the different, definitive thing is that we lag like crazy. Hey, look, opponents are in front of us. And guess what? My machine gun effect is faster at destroying them than me being able to run into them and trying to do... <laughs> Which is so awesome, in my opinion. I love this so much. Zigzagging. My PC is ready to explode. What does not matter? I don't think so. Oh, PC is gonna explode. We got some lag spikes. Let's continue. We're still at wave 11. 27 minutes in, will I be able to beat this game in the next 10 minutes? I mean, with so much lag, I don't think so. I think we're gonna nerf ourselves in a moment. I mean, not exactly nerf ourselves, but we need to change some things up. Like, this this is just a no-go. <laughs> this is just a no-go. I think the main issue is, once again, the boomerangs. Things that stay on the air for too long and just don't do anything, those are always the issue. Of course, the hammer slammers and the explosions are just straight up busted. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I, I think this is like... I, today I was ready to play this game and I was like, okay, I think this is going to be my last run in this. And look what we got going on, man. Just just look what we got going on. We got like a storm of death and destruction just flying off with machine guns, hammer slammers, explosions. Just, just madness all around. I love it. I love it. And the game just opens itself up to get broken on its own. <laughs> Let's destroy everything we find in front of us. Hey, look, machine gun effects. I love it. I really do. I really love this maddening effect here. And uh, we're going to continue slowly moving up, trying to uh, pick up whatever money exists. By the way, if you look at the bottom left, we still haven't picked up enough money to even get the money we lost yesterday, uh, the previous run. Now I picked up all the money. And uh, who knows how much more money I'm going to lose. And now the game's going to be like, you lost 1,500 organs. <laughs> Imagine. I mean, there is a very good chance that that is going to be happening. Man, I definitely need a better PC. I think the time has come to upgrade my PC. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to actually do that, but it's going to happen. Nice, we got the Hornet and zero organs on the ground. Okay, this Hornet is one projectile, so eh. Pupa with three projectiles. We're gonna take that, of course. It's really, really. I'm gonna say no. Let's go with Explo- Oh, Pierce two projectiles three. We're gonna take the Swordfish here. And I think now we can actually connect things with each other. So we're gonna say this this madness here is not a good idea. We're gonna say... Um, shoot out a Pupa. 
And that pupa when it expires, hammer slammer. Over here we're gonna say... Forget this part. We're gonna say... Shoot out a machine gun. When that expires, explode. Right, and over here we're gonna say... Shoot out a hornet. Which by the way is one. I hate the boomerangs. Shoot out a hornet. It shoots out boomerangs. I still hate the boomerangs. Eh, yeah, whatever. I guess we're forced. And then when the boomerang expires, then it shoots out a hammer slammer. I don't know. This is the most boring part here. I don't need the boxer. But we can put the boxer here. Uh, when the hammer slammer hits, it hits. It hits when it hits. Let's go with damage, etc. And our brain, I don't think we need that brain. Let's go uh, movement speed and HP. Let's go, I guess, base damage. Can I see this in a moment? Oh, yeah, this is not lagging. Yeah, this is definitely not lagging. Stop, 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 stop. I pressed escape, by the way. I pressed escape. You know what? If the game crashes right now and we lose everything, then that's a successful run in my book. Because that is how we... Oh, yep, the game is crashing. Is this how the video is going to end? Is the video going to end with the game crashing? Is this it? Did you just see the full part? Nope. <laughs> we are still alive. Okay, in my opinion, this whole line maybe should get disconnected. Let's try this again. Yeah, pause, 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 cancel. Um, Is it a good idea to do this? I think no. But at the same time, I also think who cares? And if the PC explodes, then so be it. Let's throw this away. I don't care about that. I hate this boomerang. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get just a couple of coins, so uh, you know what? Maybe go with pickup range. Now nah, that's stupid. Let's also sell one cochlea. We have like so many. I might have sold the better one. Uh, now I can go with crit chance. And let's go. This is gonna most likely explode my PC. No, run away! Okay, I think the PC is just exploding. Well, mistakes were made mistakes were made and you know what i'm okay with it this is exactly what i wanted to achieve right if we're not gonna break the game then what are we even doing at this point am i right am i right am i right i haven't pressed anything by the way i haven't pressed escape i haven't pressed pause as you see the mouse is actually still getting recorded but the game crashed and no the game didn't crash there is a good chance that in uh, one minute and 26 seconds the game's gonna be like Zip, num, you won and you you picked up zero materials oh look at this we moved the frame aha uh -huh. So, uh, I, I, I don't see this actually working out. I, I don't see my PC actually being able to handle this, jokes aside. Maybe I should have only gone with one. Uh, yeah, now, now there is no way back. Like, this, this was a huge mistake for sure. I think we should have gone with only one brain having four cochlea connections, and the other two brains should be something like we buff ourselves or we put down wings, although we don't have wings. Well, that's an issue too. Hey, look, we moved the frame again. So, this is pretty much over. This should have been like a live stream, I guess, where I was just, you know, hey guys, <laughs> let's chill and vibe with the chat until the game just unfreezes. <laughs> uh, may maybe I should do that. Maybe I should create the same build on a live stream. That could be a meme build, because right now I don't see anything even making sense here anymore. So, um, I guess that is going to be the end of this game. I mean, this look at this. We're going to move one more frame and the second's not going to be even moving. Will we even move one frame? Because right now the game is trying to calculate every single hammer slammer that is about to get spawned. Because we are still shooting, right? If if, if this character shoots at three bullets right now... Wait a minute. Are these three here? Are these over here a new batch of shots? Oh, this, this is a new batch of shots. Okay, if this thing here goes three frames to the right and then explodes over here and then goes three frames to the right and then explodes over here, instantly the PC is going to crash. Uh, I'm thinking about clicking on the screen and see if... Uh, right now, I haven't clicked anywhere. But I think if I click anywhere... Let's run to the bottom right. By the way, we're still at 1 minute and 26 seconds. I'm running bottom right. 20 oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. No, 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 no. no. Ah, that's the trick, guys. That's the trick. Moving. If I don't move, the game is just trying to calculate a million things. If I try to move, maybe some kind of priority mechanic is going on. Uh, let me actually press escape. Maybe there are graphics. Maybe there are settings here that we can fix everything with. Mm, nope. Effect visibility. Ooh, maybe that's going to somehow save us. Yeah, let's go with like one. Maybe that is somehow going to save us. Somehow, somehow. Come on, guys, we can do it. Nope. Nope. No nothing changed. Nope. It's just they, they became more 
See through this, this didn't change anything. This literally didn't change anything. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just a bit more see through. Yeah, and it's also ugly, so might as well go for the prettier version, right? Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't reduce the lag and if it just makes it so that they are washed through, who cares? They, they should, dev, if you watch this. I would uh, suggest you definitely make it so that there is a version where you can make it so that nothing is visible. Or, or you know what, just make it so that less things are visible. Not, not, not that they're less visible. That's a difference, okay? Something being less visible is different than less things being visible. What I mean to say is, like, from all those millions upon millions of hammer slammers, just be like, okay, we're not gonna shoot out a million hammer slammers, we're gonna shoot out... You know, 10,000 hammer slammers. That's going to make a difference. Because right now, like, everything is visible and just everything is just lagging too much. Maybe there should be a cap, but how would you do the cap? I guess if each weapon had their own cap, that's how you could do it. Because if you just said uh, you can have up to, I don't know, 200 projectiles in the air, then it would definitely nerf a bunch of builds. Well, if you would make it, like, you can have up to... 200 of starfish in the air, 200 hammers, I mean 200 is a bit of too big of, big of a number, but 50 projectiles of that weapon can be in the air, 50 projectiles of explosions, 50 explosion, 50 projectiles of hammer slammers, and then just um, congregate the damage, I guess, combine the damage, so that it's like, okay, for each hammer slammer that we don't show, you, uh, you get the damage out of it. I don't know, I don't know, that's like a bunch of coding just so that the game doesn't freeze so much. And uh, at the end of the day, this this was the, this game's future anyway, right? There, was there any choice or any doubt in any muddy mind that this would be happening? I, I, there was no doubt in my mind at all. And if I had the last brain also shoot out a bunch of things, I think we would not really be able to even get through this. But uh, this this is just too many pixels. Uh, I guess too few pixels, I would say. I don't see this. I'm running towards the right trying to pick up the, the thing that was on the ground there. So we're going pixel one one pixel at a time. But honestly speaking, I, I don't think really there is any reason to this madness. I love it, though. I love it. I love how crazy stupid this is. Should I wait for 1 minute and 15 seconds, which in reality might be actually 10 minutes or 20 minutes of actually going through this? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't see anything happening here. Although it takes... Look at this crazy. <laughs> Look at this craziness, man. Look at this man. This is insanely stupid, by the way. I'm just complaining, but this is, this is, I love it. I 100% love it. I hate the fact that we're not able to move and do anything, but I love the fact that we were able to destroy the game and just, just completely freeze frame everything and just the hammer slam is fly all around. I mean, th this was exactly what I was expecting to happen. The cochleas that activate cochleas that activate cochleas that activate cochleas and all of those are you know, five times triggering each, right? Because we have a connection, actually four times each, because I have four cochleas back to back. So, so I shoot out three bullets and each of those times shoots out four times three bullets each. And there's all of those three bullets each shoot all of them another four times, two or three bullets, I think is the next one that was connected. And then at the very end, all of those trigger like four times a hammer slammer. And then we have a secondary weapon with the same effect, but at the very end, it triggers like, you know, four times explosions. So um, yeah, we were completely busted as you see we're just seeing some numbers being like 100 a thousand or 900 or whatnot but um yeah they they hit so 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 many times that it's insane of course now i think we're gonna end the video here when the timer hits one minute exactly i don't think i'm gonna go through this you can very much imagine that this is pretty much a win i don't really need to prove anything to anybody right like do we agree that this is a win Comment down below and tell me. Do you count this as a win or is it, you know, a loss? <laughs> I don't know. You. Uh, this, this is one of those uh, Icarus examples where I flew too close to the sun, so my wings are burning and the PC being the wings is burning down and maybe exploding. But at the end of the day, does it count as a flight attempt successful or does it actually count as, well, guess what? <laughs> you destroyed yourself. Your hubris made you lose all the crazy damage. I was Look at this. The, the the enemy isn't even alive enough to get hit more than 10 times or something. Like, it doesn't even th show enough numbers. 
right? We, we attacked that enemy so many times and only five or six numbers up here. The rest just went through and destroyed them. So, um, yeah, we're running through the sea of hammer slammers over here. We're trying to go over to the other side. We've got five more seconds to go on this video. If you enjoyed what you see, hop, do, please drop a like and subscribe the channel. There is a good chance, as I said, we're going to drop the series. We're going to start some new game. There are so, 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 so many new games out there that are popping left and right. And I think this is like another good chance to go into it. Because it feels like indie developers are putting games out uh, not in... Uh, Christmas season and whatnot because you know triple A titles are coming out on those days and then like the moment the winter is over I guess not winter actually starting so the moment the Christmas is over and whatnot indie devs are like okay well, my time has come to shine now that nobody is actually promoting anything random we are going to uh, go into this hey look opponents on the left side are they going to be able to attack us in time oh look 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 the madness is incoming madness is incoming hammer slap the explosion look at what's coming look at what's coming look at this it's incoming you are not going to survive <laughs> Are there any oh, we got hit! We got hit! We got hit! And then the madness came in. Can I actually kill my... I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to get a, a destruction here, but look, look at this, another madness is incoming. Now nobody's gonna touch boss again. You attacked my boss! <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is going to be it. I think we're gonna end it over here. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna continue this. Uh, I'm gonna just surrender and... Uh, you know what? Actually, not, not surrender. Let's leave this on a positive note. We're just gonna leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Uh, if if you want to see more, as I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be playing more different games. Most likely not this one again. Because as you can see, we definitely know how to break the game. Like, if I had this built at difficulty 5, I, I wouldn't even need to do anything else. I think this character is like so busted that you can just go with one brain. If you have one brain and four cochleas connected, it's over. So th this is just extremely one of the most busted characters in the game by far with not even a comparison to the rest. And um, yeah, I mean, at this point, I think I have learned the ins and outs of how to break this game. I don't think there is anything else to show. I mean, uh, hopefully at the top right, they're going to be appearing a couple of fronts of my most busted runs if you want to go back and see it. I definitely remember one crazy one where we lagged the game again. I have lagged this game a couple of times, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I said, we're going to be coming back to this game once in a while. Uh, as long as they put, like, crazy stuff out. Now, that might happen in a week. It might happen in a month. might happen in a year. Because, you know, I'm not really consistent with things like these. Maybe it's even going to happen tomorrow, okay? Don't always trust what I say. As I am a human and I am sometimes going with my whims of what I enjoy playing and what I enjoy doing. And right now, I feel like I want to try something else. So, uh, don't forget to also watch the new series D100, you know. Dungeon 100, which in my opinion has a very bright future in front of it, as long as they're patching it, because I'm not sure how often they patch it. And maybe I'm gonna even find something else that is crazy tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. And um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and see you guys around. <laughs> this thing is never gonna stop lagging.